I was speaking about the importance of the role which one has to play in our lives, stages in life, and just as the body grows up, matures, becomes capable, and then slowly starts growing old, deteriorating. and one day we die in the same manner there is also the growth of the roles in our life at the age of 2 3 4 we like to play with dolls but the at the age of 10 12 15 those dolls are replaced by some other objects at the age of 20 those dolls and those objects again are changed and this happens unfortunately what happens is that we feel once we have become adult we have reached the zenith the pinnacle and then after this there is nothing else to achieve and we keep doing the same thing over and over and over again but the vedic system explains that there is something beyond and something beyond just as the body keeps changing the roles in life also keep changing and as the roles in life change we need to be able to change our mindset so that we remain in alignment now there is no doubt that all of us have to die one day there isn't anybody in this whole world for whom this rule does not apply but then is death really something to be so afraid of as it is made out to be of course it's a very big uh, event but does it have to be so scary it doesn't have to be scary if we understand what it implies once we understand that then we know how we can maximally utilize the time which we have at our disposal swami ji used to say that after 60 we should start preparing for the next journey he gave the example that if you are in india and you are going to usa to a cold frigid country why usa let us say you are going to the uh, arctic pole or antarctica then what is the equipment that you will take with you will you take a nice warm sunny uh, jacket or a light t-shirt or will you take those thick boots and heavy jackets and covers and all that which will protect you if you are going to the equator will you take that heavy jacket or will you take a light cooling material with you you will take what is needed in your further destination if you are going to usa you will carry dollars with you if you are going to russia you will carry rubles with you so you will take with you those things which are useful over there not over here so what is useful over there what is it that we prepare for and how can we do that and enrich our life here also because the moment you start preparing for that automatically you start enriching your life here that's a very funny thing which happens and then you are able to live every moment of your life because then you come to know the purpose of life once we come to know the purpose of life then we know that we have to move in this direction what do we need to do what do we not need to do all starts becoming clear 
and then we start moving in that direction step by step that is becoming an elder how do i respond to the changing situations how do i equip myself there was this question on expectations and yes we will be speaking about that there is a question on health because that's a major issue and there are many such issue, uh, points which are very very relevant but we need to understand it in the complete context so that the depression the sense of irrelevance the sense of neglect the sense of being wasted doesn't come when i was speaking to somebody they mentioned and it was it was really you know very very uh, painful to hear that they said that well i am now just i have retired from my job and i am just waiting whenever he calls i will go i don't have anything else to do in life my life has no purpose now it was very uh very very strong uh, emotion and uh, it just shows that how much we have identified with our career i am my career i am a manager i am a ceo i am a professional no no you are not that that is just one role we are playing life is much much more than that just because you have stopped uh, being an economically productive person does not mean th that you have completely uh, become irrelevant no we need to know what we god or the natural forces are very very uh, economic they don't waste even a little bit the breath which is given to us is there is no extra in that it is measured that i have to do so much in this life and i have to learn so much in this life accordingly i have been given the equipments for that and i have been given the duration so never should it come in my mind or in anybody's mind for that matter that oh now there is nothing in life for me no if that was the case god would not allow us to live that long the moment we retire off he takes us no he doesn't do that because we have to learn something much more that is very important and what is that how do we enrich our life here and by enriching our life here we automatically prepare for the journey further so we enrich our lives here after as well as here and we can become very powerful contributing forces the people who were in who are even now in himalayas swami shivanand ji used to say that people think that they are doing nothing but no they are those people they have perhaps they are doing much more than we can even comprehend they have the strength of the mind so when they generate a thought it has got great strength with it and that thought starts manifesting our mind is weak so our mind doesn't have that force if we collectively improve the quality of our mind and bring in the intention we can form a very powerful force doesn't matter what my limitations are but we can become a very very powerful force and we can impact the present in different manner earlier when we were younger we impacted the going arounds in a different manner now 
we have to generate that energy and we have to distribute that energy the generating station doesn't utilize the energy it just generates and distributes so slowly we have to become that generating station now in this situation as we generate energy the generating station automatically receives more energy so that it generates energy better but at the same time it also distributes energy and when it distributes energy the area around it improves the area deep further improves that is the role which is very essential and that is a role which none of us are playing and we need to think about this we need we need to get out of that mentality that okay now my uh, career is over i am old i can't do this yeah you can't do one thing sure no uh, no two doubts about it but there is so many things you can do you have you have accumulated so much of experience you have made so many mistakes but those mistakes are meant to teach me something so let me learn from it and put it to good use that is very essential remember we are part of god's plan yesterday we were speaking about is are we just an accident or is there a plan yes there is a plan there is a very definite plan and we have to work through the plan and we have to learn in the process the more we learn the more we enrich ourselves and how do we do that what do we do that is where yoga shows us the way so these are points we will be discussing today evening obviously the uh, one hour is too short to discuss all of that in detail but we will be briefly touching on these points and what can be done what cannot be done with this let us conclude ariyom satsat